I had a problem today when I was cutting out the pocket for this uh, Jessam router lift I bought thinking about putting it on the uh, center of my CNC table here. The uh, issue is the gantries um, weren't uh, lined up so I wasn't getting a uh, perfectly square pocket cutout for this um, with the dimensions being so close uh, it wouldn't actually fit in. So what I did was used this simple process to square up the gantry. I drilled four holes, quarter inch holes, then I used these bits and all four of the holes. Then I took a T-square, a couple of T-squares, and I used them to measure diagonally to check for getting the gantry square. So I would uh, line up one corner in one of the bits, one on the other, and then take a T-square, use that to measure the distance, which was about 13 and a half. Then I went the other way. Same thing here, 13 and a half. And it was out, um, mainly because I was having an issue with one of the stepper controllers of the wiring where one of them would, um, the, the, uh, the slaved axis would stop working and I'd go to move it and it would actually one would move and so they got out of alignment so what I would do is uh, keep drilling these holes you can see I have a bunch it, it took me four sets of holes with adjustments to um, get it um, where it was pretty much perfect I had to basically um, turn the controller off and then just adjust the lead screws um, to move one axis uh, in or out depending on the adjustment it needed diagonally. So just uh, thought I'd post this video just to other people uh, as a quick way to um, get your axis um, um, trued up for your, on the X and Y so you can cut nice um, 90 degree uh, squares. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but this is the way that just popped into my head today to, to get her done. I haven't had to do it for a while, um, but today it was pretty critical to get that pocket right. It just wasn't fitting. You can see the other two pockets they cut, they were just slightly out. This one was the, the good one. Anyhow, later.